Hello, Brian Allen here. Um, I'm going to be working on this really cool uh, project for um, a documentary that's being made. It's about heavy metal artists and uh, movie monsters. So what I, I've already drawn everything um, in Manga Studio and I've uh, dropped in the flat colors. Um, I decided to skip that step in the video because it's pretty boring. Um, but it's obviously really important and really time consuming too. Um, so let me show you real quick uh, how I get started in Manga Studio when coloring and then the rest of the video will be uh, just a speed painting video of me coloring this up. Um, so the image you saw in the beginning um, is how the final looked. What I did here was I separated all of the characters um, spread them out from each other because when we're done even though uh, in the main image they're fighting uh, we're actually going to sell stickers uh, and, and prints and make an animation um, using each individual character so I had to keep them separate when coloring. It also makes it uh, a lot faster and I'll show you what I mean. What I've done here do we go over here um, I've got a flats layer, Let's zoom out here, and the flats layer is every single character, every single object, all in one layer in kind of kooky colors. Basically each color needs to be ex very different from the next one so that I can easily make selections. And then on, I made a duplicate of that and shows the actual colors that I'm going to use. Um, I always like to start with really desaturated, um, kind of darker colors, and then add um, add brighter colors for the highlights on top of that. Uh, it's important for me to start with desaturated colors because I kind of go sometimes I go a little nuts with colors and things just uh, uh, just end up looking like a tie dye T-shirt. So I have to restrain myself in that way. Um, the inks are all here in, in a folder. I've kept them separate, but you don't have to do that. They can all be on one layer. And when we're finished, in Manga Studio, it's extremely easy to just take the lasso tool and, you know, let's cut Frank out here. And we would take, select all of these layers, and I'm, I would just cut it. and paste that all in its own group. So before we had them all on one layer and now it's very easy to separate it. That's when we're all done coloring. So let's undo all that jazz there. Um, okay, so the reason I like to keep them all on one layer is because for me, having to go back and switch between layers uh, really kind of slows me down. And especially with a piece like this, where there's so much going on, and so many characters, that would equal a ridiculous number of layers. Um, the other reason is it really helps with the way I work using reference layers. And let me show you what I'm talking about. In Manga Studio, uh, this is easily my favorite feature. You can, we'll go back to our uh, flats layer right here. You can select the lighthouse icon right here that was already selected, so select it like that. And then we'll go select our colors layer. When I use the magic wand tool and set it to this preset right here, which is selection for reference layer, you don't see that. You can actually change it down here. And this is probably pretty confusing if you've never used Manga Studio before, but once you start playing around with it, um, these settings will make more sense uh, and then you'll level them. Um, so what you will do is go into the settings, choose reference, and instead of this little blue pencil, you want to choose this right here. It, it says um, not refer editing layer and not refer the paper, which is like their way of saying the background. And then this is the most important one right here. 
you can choose all layers you can choose your selected layer which is what you're probably commonly used to if you work in Photoshop because um, the wand usually works on the layer that you click on or this is what we're going to do we're going to use the reference layer it's this little lighthouse okay so that's selected so the cool thing is as I'm painting whenever I use the magic wand tool let's uh, let's say we want to paint this puke here you click on the puke it selects all the puke. Even if, let's get something really messy here. Let's say we just, just real quick, mess that up. You know, that's pretty gross. Uh, if this was just the uh, selecting the editing layer, and I tried to select this puke again, it's trying to grab all these different colors. And that's gonna get annoying. With the reference layer, or reference magic wand selected, no matter how much I paint that up, it's still gonna be grabbing from this, uh, as if it's pulling from just this flat colored layer. Um, this is something that comic book artists commonly do. Uh, that's where the term flats comes from. Um, in Photoshop though, there's a there's a second step to that because you would have to come over here, I'd have to switch my layer to the puke, select the puke, go back to my color layer, and then start coloring. And then the next time I want to select, let's say, her hair, I'd have to go back here, do that. The beauty of these reference layers in Manga Studio is that I don't have to I could paint this whole thing and never have to even change layers. Um, I can just switch to my wand, select it, paint, click on something else, and it makes it go super fast, um, and I love it. Why don't we get started on Freddy? Um, I like to get started with the guy that I think will be the easiest um, so that I'm pretty warmed up by the time I have to get to the hard people. So get out. This is the, basically the technique I always use. I'll get out my wand, uh, select all this red, get my grungy brush, and I'll select a red that is a bit lighter. I'm going to start with. Brighter color. And here I'm not really worried too much about any of the detail. I'm just trying to give it um, a bit of depth before I go in and do some detail. And do the same for shadows. That needs to be darker. Okay, and then depending on the the style of the artwork, um, I'm either gonna go with softer shadows or like a hard edge kind of cell shading. And I think for this piece, um, actually I'm not real sure yet, I'm gonna see how the cell shading looks for Freddy uh, before I go on to the other ones. But for the cell shading technique, I usually just create a new layer, um, call it shadows, set it to multiply, and I'm just gonna try to use like a sort of really light purplish color for most of the shadows. It's not going to work on everything, but I'm going to try to keep the shadows basically the same color. Um, it helps unify everything, um, I find. So let's get... And for me, it usually takes a little playing around. It needs to be a little darker. And I don't want, uh, I 
don't want it too dark. Um, and you know what, here, in this case, I need to select these stripes too. So I'm just getting my wand, hold the shift tool for the plus sign, and here we go. So now I'm drawing the shadow over all the colors, or all the, sh all the shirt, I should say. Um, so I was saying, you don't want the shadows to be too dark because I already, my line art is already pretty dark and I've already blocked in a lot of the shadows. That's sort of part of my style um, in black. So I'm basically just sort of trying to create a mid-tone here. Uh, and right now I'm using the um, Manga Studio 5 mapping pen that comes with uh, Manga Studio. Oh, you know, and I really like, where are you? Again, 4,000 brushes, and I use four of them. Here we go, it's texture pen. So the texture pen is also really cool. Um, it has, if you zoom in, like a bit of texture, which I think is actually pretty good for, for shading and stuff. Um, okay, let's block in some big shadows. Now, I know already this is going to be a challenging piece because since um, these are horror and heavy metal characters, they're going to be really dark. Uh, I mean, most of their clothes are all black, and uh, that makes it tricky to draw some of the details. Like, I, I really, I got to be careful, otherwise, um, so if I make things too dark, then you're not going to be able to see anything, any of the detail, but if I make it too right they're gonna look like silly cartoon characters and I'm always kind of shooting for somewhere in the middle so in a way what I'm doing right now it's, it's actually very similar to the way I ink it's just it's almost like another layer of inking I guess you would say um, and uh, uh, sometimes I will um, actually a lot of times I'll use the cuts method uh, where you use the lasso tool um, to select an area and then fill it in with a soft brush and I'm sure I'll be doing that later on. Um, right now I, I find for this style uh, with the cell shading it works really well for web graphics because they're gonna be so small anyway um, the a lot of these hard edges when you zoom out they look basically identical to the effect you would achieve um, with the cut method. Um, and I find I find this a lot more natural and faster for me than, than actually drawing the lasso cuts uh, because it just feels a bit more like drawing um, and there's less tools to use too, so it's just quick. Okay, I'm gonna jam this in. Might sometimes do some texture there. I want to get to Freddy's face. So I should say, uh, right now, my focus is like the different areas of the character. So right now, I'm gonna I'm tackling his shirt. Later on, I'm gonna do his face. Um, when I'm all finished doing that, then I will go back in and add like some color variation. So I, I'm not going to worry about the kind of bloody, uh, the parts of his face where they're like stripped away and, and bloody yet. I'm going to I'm going to color this all as one color, and I find it a lot easier to go back in um, at the end once all the like rendering and value is put in. All right, so I'm happy with that. Then I might go in, um, I will go in and do a layer of highlights. And this is where I tend to like the cuts. I'll show you what I mean here. So I'll get the lasso out and draw a little shape here. And then I like to use a soft textured brush for this. Uh, why? All right. Um, 
and we will go with grunge. So I will choose like a little brighter color, put some yellow in it, and you kind of paint it on there. This is where, this is an area where I can quickly get carried away and then I end up putting way too many highlights and it starts to just look, everything pops out and it's too colorful. And uh, I usually have to go back and fix that. Um, so watch out for that. Um, you just want to kind of highlight some of the areas that are closer to you. And especially for this piece, like they are supposed to be scary. Like I said, I just want them to be like scary cartoon characters. Uh, oh, here's a tip too um, that I learned from uh, a schoolism class. You always want to have, if you have a second monitor or even just a big monitor, it's always a good idea to have like a second view of the illustration you're working on, but at a much smaller size. Um, to give you an example of why that's helpful, when I just did that highlight, it looks pretty good right here, but I'm seeing now, um, when you zoom way out, that highlight was way too bright. It just makes his arm pop out way too much. It's also really helpful to kind of see the image as a whole. So as I continue coloring this, I'm going to see all the characters at once. I'm going to see how all the uh, colors like are working together. Um, it's super helpful. Uh, it's also really helpful because this final illustration, even though it's going to be used for a lot of different things where the characters might be pretty big, the main illustration on the website, uh, the characters are going to be pretty small. Um, especially if you're looking at it on a phone, they're going to be ridiculously small. Uh, so I don't want to get carried away with detail that's never going to be seen. Uh, and you can do that in, in both Photoshop and Manga Studio. Uh, so, um, I think what I'll do now is is shut up and just speed up the video uh, for the rest of the coloring. So, thanks, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just post them in the comments. Thanks.
Opportunities have come I've climbed and fallen on my face But had more fun Than a man twice my age have changed I am still the same my memories are gone a few they still remain a few they still remain a few they still remain a few they still remain
I love the way you smell